welcome back. Today I want to share with you my July favorites. I traveled for most of July so I really stuck to a select few items um, that I used all month long. So if you're interested in seeing what I used all month then keep watching. Okay so I have two products that I talked about in my last video and they're both from Becca and one is the low light highlight palette and the other is Champagne Pop, the collaboration between Jaclyn Hill and Becca. And I have been using the Low Light Highlight Palette every single day. Um, you can see it's really messy. Especially this contour color because I absolutely love it. It just blends out so easily and looks so good with um, like any makeup look that I do. So I have it on today and this is really good for pairing with like a powder over it. It blends out really easily. It looks natural. have absolutely been loving this. I will do a quick watch for you. So this is around $46 or something like that. Um, you can see here's the highlight shade and the contour shade. So a really pretty, you know, color that gives you a natural look because it has a little bit of a gray tone to it, but at the same time it has a little bit of a bronze shade. So really nice for the summertime. Really have been loving this one by Becca. And the other Becca product is um, Champagne Pop, like I said. I actually broke mine. I had it for like two weeks. I bought it at the beginning of July, and then when I was on vacation, I dropped it, if you can see. So sad, but oh well. It's still a beautiful highlight shade. So this is the highlight shade up here. As you can see, it's super reflective. Highly pigmented, you barely need any. It seriously is going to flatter everybody. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's a little bit gold, it's a little bit peachy. You know, it's just something that I don't have in my collection, so I was really glad to get it. That retails for $38, and you can only get it at Sephora. So it's a limited edition. I think it's still available, so be sure and check that one out. So the next item I have is a drugstore item, and this came out pretty recently, I want to say within the last couple of months, and it is from CoverGirl, and it is their um, Stay Fabulous Foundation. This has an SPF of 20. It's supposed to be, um, it says 3-in-1, so it's your primer, it has coverage like a concealer, and it has the blendability of a foundation, it says, and it says it's shine-free, which it definitely is. This product is awesome. It stays on all day long. I'm wearing it today. I think it gives flawless coverage and the shade range is really nice. This one works really well for me. It, um, it works well with other foundations too if you're the type of person who likes to mix foundations, which I do. This one mixes with lots of different ones. I've tried it with like three or four um, different foundations I have in my in my collection, one of them being the L'Oreal Pro Matte. It blends really well with that one, so that one I know doesn't have a great shade range, so if you like that, you might want to mix it with this one. Um, really nice. I want to say it's probably like 10, 10 to $12. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but if you go to Ulta, they always have the like half-off sales, buy one, get one half-off, or buy two, get one free, um, all the time. So you can pick this up relatively cheap. Um, and I have mine in the shade Nude Beige. And there's several shades underneath this and then like a whole bunch of shades that are darker than this one. Next I have a blush shade that I have had for quite some time. It's from Julep. It looks like this. I've got it in one of my Julep boxes probably a year or so. Maybe even a year and a half, two years ago. I can't even remember. But it is seriously like a stunning blush shade and the formulation is just amazing. So this is what it looks like. You can see the label is pretty much um, worn off, but I think it's their Glow Pore Minimizing uh, Blushes, and this one was in the shade, I want to say it was like Peach Bellini, and the formulation is so nice. It really is pore minimizing. Like, it is the softest formula that just blends out so nice. It doesn't make any of your pores look you know, more prominent. It doesn't have any glitter in it, but it still has this really, really pretty sheen. I have it on today. It works really well with, you know, bronzers or anything else that you want to mix it with or if you want to put a highlight over it. Um, just a really, really pretty shade. And I love the formula of this. As you can see, I've used it a whole bunch. 
like I hit pan on it quite a while ago. Really love this one. It's been great for summertime because it's a nice peach. I really don't remember how much these retail for, so I'll link them down below. And I want to say they have like one other shade in the range. They ha also have some bronzers that are really nice. I went through that like forever ago. Like I used that thing up in no time. It was amazing. It was a really good bronzer. So once again, Glow Pore Minimizing um, Peach Bellini Blush from Julep. The next item I have is actually two items and they are a combination that I've been using on my lips. I have them on today and it's this liner and then this gloss. And this is the lip liner pencil from NYX in 849 beige. And this is just like the perfect your lip color but better. And it has like a little bit of a shimmer to it with a little bit of like a pink. It's just like a nudie pink color. It is like the prettiest shade ever. You can wear it like every day. You can wear it on its own. You can wear it, you know, underneath a lipstick or a gloss. And for me right now, I've really been liking it um, with a gloss over it. And this is from Smashbox and it is their Lip Enhancing Gloss. And this is in the shade Luster. So this is pretty much like a clearish, really, really light color. Um, but it has a lot of this like holographic like duochrome sort of like shimmery glitter in it but it's not like a chunky glitter it's just a very pretty gloss and in the summertime I really like to have something that's a little bit more shimmery a little bit more fun but isn't like super overpowering and this is the perfect combo so you have your just clear gloss with some shimmer on top and then you know my liner and together they're really pretty so that is what I have on my lips now, and to be completely honest, I'm not sure if you can still get this. I got it in a collection over Christmas time. They might still have it. If I can find it, I will link it down below. So that has been my lip combination that I've been wearing pretty much all the time. Anytime I want to do something, it's really easy, really quick, and it looks good with like any sort of eye combo, blush combo that you might be wearing for that day. Um, so really like that one. My last beauty related item is sort of a skincare slash like self tanner and it is from Tarte and it is their Maracuja Bronzing Serum and this actually came in a BoxyCharm back in like January or February, I can't remember. Um, and this is basically a serum, so it's like skincare but at the same time bronzing or self tanning. So you get, you know, your the self tanning that you need and also um, your skincare that you need. Because my biggest issue with like self tanning my face is that I'm skipping out on a day of skincare and I can always tell when I wake up in the morning, you know, I didn't get the hydration I needed or, you know, whatever. Um, and so this gives me the skincare benefits I need with also the color that I'm wanting on my face. So I've really been loving this. I want to say it retails for like 40 something dollars, um, so I'll link that down below if you're interested. I've used it on its own and I've also used it mixed in with my um, moisturizer for the night and it's worked really well uh, both ways. So I really like this, the Tarte Maracuja Bronzing Serum, really nice. So I know this has been a pretty quick favorite and that's pretty much all of my beauty related items. I have one non-beauty item that I have been loving and it is a book and it is called Beautiful Ruins and since I've been on vacation for most of July I've been traveling on the plane, in the car, you know things like that and I always take books with me to read. I've really been enjoying reading this book because it's an easy read, it's light, it's got a good storyline. It basically spans um, from the 60s to today and it's a story about an actress who's on the set of Cleopatra and they're over in Italy. She gets like pregnant by Richard Burton and um, she goes and stays on this small island and meets this villager who, who owns the um, hotel that she's staying in and it's a story about what happened that summer and also today. So it crosses a bunch of different um, storylines you know it'll ha it talks about different people but somehow they're all tied together so it's actually really interesting and it keeps the pace up because you're constantly switching back and forth between different stories but yet they're all tied together and in the end um, I'm almost done I only have like a couple chapters left so 
I can't wait to finish it because it's been a really good book so far. So again, that's Beautiful Ruins and it's by Jess Walter. That's everything that I've been loving in the month of July. I hope you found some new things maybe to try out that you haven't heard of before or you've been interested in but didn't wasn't sure if it was good or not. So I will be back on Wednesday with my summer skincare. So I'll be talking about what I do to protect my skin. So my SPF that I love using along with other skincare items and sort of like my self tanners that I like to use. So if you're interested in seeing that, stick around and come back on Wednesday. And then I think next week I'm going to be doing a whole uh, week of drugstore. So I'm going to do some drugstore tutorials. I'm going to talk about my favorite drugstore foundations and concealers. And I'm going to be reviewing a few new drugstore products that are out in stores over on my blog. So be sure and check that out next week as well. I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye!